Hi and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful summer top. This is a confetti top which is worked from the top down and features raglan shaping. The best part about making this top is that there is no sewing pieces together as it's made in one piece. And even though it may look like an intricate design, this is an easy level pattern which only repeats two rounds. You can crochet along with me, but if you prefer, you can also get the PDF pattern on my Etsy shop. So if you're excited to make this top, be sure to like this video and subscribe for even more patterns and tutorials. Before you start, make sure you read the finished bust measurements carefully, so you can pick the best size for your body. We have extra small, small, medium, large, extra large and double extra large. For reference, the top in the picture is made in size medium, but for this tutorial, I'm gonna make size small. For making this top, you will need any DK yarn. In this case, I'm using the Acacia yarn print by Hobby Yarn, which is this lovely shade. Or if you prefer lighter colors, you can also use this beautiful shade of the same yarn. And this is more like pastel colors. And you're also gonna need a contrasting color. And in this case, I'm using white. You will need a five millimeter crochet hook or the one needed to obtain the same tension that I'm gonna give you in the next part of the video. A tapestry needle, a pair of scissors, And if you prefer, you can also use stitch markers. You can pause here in order to get the exact amount of yarn you will need for your size in the confetti color and the white color. In order to achieve the same measurements I'm giving you in the pattern, it's very important that you make a sample using the block stitch you can find the block stage tutorial in the previous video. And after making your sample, you should get six blocks and 12 rows that measure 10 centimeters. As you can see here in the pictures, I have the six blocks horizontally and 12 rows vertically. Make sure your sample looks the same than in the pictures here, so you can get the perfect top for your body. You're gonna start your work by creating a slip knot and you're gonna work the number of chains according to your size. In my case, I'm gonna make 97 chains because I'm making size small. But if you're making size extra small, for example, you're gonna make 91 chains. So I'm gonna go ahead and make 97 chains. Now I've completed the number of chains for my size and I'm gonna work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then I'm gonna work one single crochet in each chain available until the end. This is gonna be our setup row. So this means we are preparing our work for the following rounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue working one single crochet in each chain available until the end. I'm now almost at the end of the chains, working my last single crochet stitches and you can see there how many single crochet you should have in total for your size. In my case, I should have 96 stitches for size small. Now we're gonna join this long chain of single crochet to work in the round. And when you do this, make sure you're not twisting your work. 
So I'm gonna go to the first single crochet I've just I've made and I'm gonna work a slip stitch. So now our work is joined to work in the round. And this is gonna be the first round. For the first round, I'm gonna change three. These three chains is gonna count as the first double crochet. And then I'm gonna make two double crochet into the same space. So I should have three double crochet in total. Then I'm gonna change two and work three double crochet into the same space. So that's one. Two double crochet and the last double crochet and this is going to be our first corner of our work every corner is going to be the same it's going to be three double crochet two change and three double crochet all into the same space now we're going to start working the same repeat for the whole round you're going to miss two chains and you're gonna work three double crochet into the following chain. So this will be our first block. Three double crochet, make one block. I'm gonna miss two chains and work three double crochet. And this would be our second block. I'm going to continue working this repeat to create the front of our top. So I'm going to miss two chains and in the following one, I'm going to work three double crochet. Remember that these three double crochet create one block. And I'm going to continue repeating this for the number of times according to my size. In this case, for size small, I'm going to do it nine more times. So here I have nine blocks worked and I'm gonna miss two chains and work another corner in the following space. So I'm gonna work three double crochet all into the same space. And I'm gonna work two chains and three double crochet all into the same space again and this is going to be our second corner created so this will be the front of our top and for size small i will have 11 blocks in total counting the corners now we're going to start working the sleeve section and it's going to be the same we're gonna miss two chains and I'm gonna work three double crochet all into the same space. And I'm gonna repeat this five times for size small. And here in the top, you can see how many times you'll have to repeat for your size. So again, I'm gonna miss two chains and work three double crochet into the following space. And this is how we're going to create our sleeve. I'm going to go ahead and complete the number of blocks I need for my sleeves. So here I have completed five repeats. So I have five blocks in total. And I'm going to miss two chains and work a corner. So the corner was three double crochet into the same space. So there I'm working the double crochet. There I have my three double crochet now. And I'm gonna work two chains and work three double crochet all into the same space. I've completed the five repeats for size small, so I should have seven blocks in total. And this is how your work should be looking at this point. So as you can see, here I have the front, 
and then I have that's the front and then I have the sleeves so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to repeat the previous steps of round one to create the back and the second sleeve. I'm going to miss two chains and start working the three double crochet into the next base. And I'm going to repeat the same number of times I did it for the front. So in my case, because I'm making size small, I'm going to repeat nine times. I'm going to go ahead and work the number of blocks according to my size. Here I finished completing the nine blocks for the back. As you can see, I have nine blocks in total without counting the corner. Now the front is going to match the back of the work. And I'm going to go ahead and create the last corner of the round. So I'm going to miss two chains and I'm going to work three double crochet all into the same space. Two chains and three double crochet. And this is the last corner of the round. Then I'm going to continue working with the sleeve of our top, the second sleeve. So I'm going to miss two chains and I'm going to work three double crochet into the following space. And I'm going to repeat five times for a size small. So here I'm missing two chains and I'm going to work three double crochet into the following space. To create another block. And I'm going to continue working this way until I have completed the five repeats for the second sleeve of the top. And this is our first round completed. So this is the front of our top. This is one sleeve. This is the back and then this is the second sleeve. So as you can see, it's all looking as a rectangle. Now we are going to join this round to continue working in the round. So you're going to locate the third chain of the initial three chains and you're going to work one slip stitch. Remember to miss two chains. And now I'm going to move with a slip stitch to the first corner space. This corner space would be the two chains that we've created in the first corner. And I'm going to grab my new color. In this case, it's white. And I'm going to make one slip stitch. But instead of closing the slip stitch with the other, with the color, the main color, I'm going to close it with the white color. And in this case, I'm not going to cut the main color because I'm going to continue working with this color in the following rounds. I'm going to make one chain and I'm going to work one single crochet into the same corner space. And I'm also going to work two chains. And this is the sequence I'm going to repeat for round number two. I'm going to work one single crochet between the two blocks and chain two. And work one single crochet between the blocks. Again, two chains and one single crochet between the blocks. All until I reach the first corner of our work.
Now I'm working the last two chains before the corner space. And this is how your work should be looking right now. As you can see, we have single crochet separated by two chains. Now I'm gonna work one single crochet into the corner space. I'm gonna do two chains and work another single crochet all into the same space. And that would create a mini corner space. And I'm gonna repeat this sequence all along the round number two. I'm gonna make two chains and work one single crochet between the blocks. Here I'm almost at the end of the round number two and I'm working my last two chains and I'm gonna finish that corner stitch. So I'm just gonna work one single crochet into that last corner, work one chain and for closing I'm gonna make one single crochet into the first single crochet of the round. And I'm gonna close this single crochet with the other color, with the first color. By working this method, you won't have any visible seam at the end of your work, and you won't have any ends to weave in when you finish your top. So here is round number two completed, and we can start working on round number three. For this, I'm just gonna go ahead and make one single crochet into that corner space and work two chains. So the first single crochet and the two chains are gonna count as the first double crochet. And I'm gonna make two more double crochet in order to complete a block. So here we'll have three double crochet. And now I'm just gonna repeat the same sequence. I'm gonna make three double crochet into the two chain space from the previous round. And remember, the three double crochet are gonna count as one block. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue working three double crochet into each chain space from the previous round in order to create the blocks until I reach to the corner space. Here I want to show you how my work is looking by now and as you can see I continue working the block stitches until I reach that corner space. Here I completed all the block stitches and I'm getting to a corner space. So for the corner space I'm going to repeat what I did in the first round. So I'm going to make three double crochet. And I'm gonna work two chains and then I'm gonna do three double crochet all into the same space. And this is our first corner created. So these corners will work as an increase as well. 
And here, this side will be the front of our work. And the next side will be the sleeves. So I'm gonna continue working three double crochet into each chain space from the previous round. And when I reach the corner space, I'm gonna work one increase. So here I've completed all the block stitches. So I should have seven block stitches worked without counting the corner spaces. So now I'm gonna work one increase. This would be three double crochet into the same space and two chains plus three double crochet all into the same space. And after completing that increase, I should have nine block stitches for the sleeves. This number is for size small, but you can see in the top the number for each size. So now I'm just gonna repeat the previous steps of round number three in order to complete the back and the second sleeve. For this, I'm just gonna Continue working three double crochet stitches into each two chain space from the previous round in order to create the little blocks. Now I'm almost at the end of the round, working the last three double crochet, the last block. And I have to finish that first corner space. So I'm just gonna work three double crochet into that corner space. And I'm gonna work one chain only. And for closing, I'm gonna locate that second change from the beginning of the round. And I'm gonna work one single crochet into that chain. And I'm gonna repeat what I did before. I'm not gonna close the single crochet with the same color. I'm just gonna bring the secondary color or the complementary color and close it with that color. And remember, do not cut the yarn. I'm gonna change one and I'm gonna work one single crochet into that corner space. And I'm gonna work two chains and one single crochet between each block. And this is gonna be our round four repeat. Two chains and one single crochet between each block until we reach the corner space. Here I'm working the last space before the corner. And when I reach the corner, I work one single crochet, two chains, and another single crochet all into the same space. And this is how it looks. This is our round number four. And now I'm just gonna continue working around the sleeves and the back and the second sleeve. I will just follow the same sequence. Two chains and one single crochet between the blocks. Two chains and one single crochet between the blocks until I reach the corner space. Here I reach another corner space. 
So I'm just going to work one single crochet, two chains, and one single crochet into the same space. And now I'm just going to continue working into the same sequence until I complete all the back of the top and that second sleeve. Now I'm almost at the end of the round, so I'm going to do two chains and I'm going to finish that corner space, making one single crochet, one chain, and for closing, I'm just going to make one single crochet into the single crochet from the first round and I'm going to cut the yarn and I'm going to bring the main color and close a single crochet with that main color. So this is round number four completed. To start the next round, I'm going to make one single crochet into the same space, two chains, and that's going to count as the first double crochet. And then I'm going to work two double crochet all into the same space. This round is made up of blocks, so I'm just going to continue working the blocks for each space until the round is completed. This will be the yoke of your top and in order for the yoke to grow you will have to repeat rounds number three and number four all alone in order to make the increases. As I'm working size small I will have to repeat rounds number three and four seven times and you can see on the top how many times you'll have to repeat for your own size. Here I've completed all the repeats for my size small so I repeated rounds number three and number four seven times. So that would be 14 rounds in total. Once you've completed all the rounds for your size, the yoke of your top will be completed. So you will have to start working on the body of your top. Here I'm working the last corner space. So I'm closing that round with a single crochet and I'm still not cutting the yarn as I keep using it for the next round. So I'm just closing that single crochet using the main color. And now before starting working on the body of the top, we're going to work around to separate the body from the sleeves. And the first round of the body will be actually round number three from before. So it would be a round of blocks. And this round will be the first round to separate the body from the sleeves. Here you can see a closer look of how the yoke looks after completing all the rounds. In total, I've worked 18 rounds so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen rounds in total for size small and now for the body we're just gonna continue working the same uh, repeat of rounds at the end of round 17 i should have 100 blocks in total for size small these are the blocks for the sleeve and I should have 23 blocks for each sleeve and 27 blocks for the front and the back. Now this will be round 19 for size small and I'm going to work three double crochet into each chain space to complete one block. And I'm going to repeat this sequence until I reach the corner space. So I continue working three double crochet into each chain space to create a block all alone until that corner space. 
Here I'm working the last block before the corner space. And here I have all my blocks that are gonna be part of the body. So I'm just gonna work another block into that corner space. Now I'm gonna miss the 23 blocks for the sleeve. And I'm gonna work another block in the next corner space so I'm gonna skip all those blocks for the sleeve and I'm gonna go straight to the next corner space and work three double crochet so it would be another block and here on the top of the video you can see how many blocks you need to miss in order to complete your size and I'm gonna continue working this sequence of three double crochet into a two chain space until I reach the next corner space. This would be the back of our top. And now I'm just gonna move my work around. Here is the first leaf done and the body. And now we just need to complete the second sleeve. So, I'm just going to continue working three double crochet into each two chain space until I reach that last corner space. As you can see, that corner space. Here I'm working the last block of the round before the corner space. And I'm just going to repeat what I did before for the first leaf. I'm just going to work three double crochet into that corner space and I'm gonna miss those 23 blocks for the sleeve and now the only thing I have left to do is to join our work to the first block of the round so I'm gonna locate that first three chain from the beginning and I'm gonna join with a slip stitch and as before I'm gonna close that slip stitch using the white color to continue working with the two colors and to keep things clear we're gonna start now the body of the top and the rounds will reset at number one so this will be number one of the body and for this round we are just gonna work one single crochet between the blocks and two chains. So one single crochet and two chains between the blocks all around the body of our top. Here you can have a closer look of the top. As you can see, the yoke is completed and now we only have to complete the body until you reach the length that you want. This is the first sleeve. And then we have the second sleeve. This actually would be the front. And there you can see the joints. And this would be the back of our top. And even though I said there is like a front and a back side to the top, you can choose whichever side you prefer to be the front and to be the back. Here I'm just continuing working that round number one for the body, just working two chains and one single crochet between the blocks. And here I want to show you when I reach to that corner space, to the join, I'm just gonna work one single crochet and two chains as before. That's the part of the sleeve that I separated from the body. And I'm just going to continue working that sequence until I get to the end of the round. I am now almost at the end of the round, working a single crochet between the blocks and two chains. 
and now I'm just going to join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet I've made from the round and I'm going to close that single crochet with the main color and now I'm going to start working the second round of the body for this one I'm going to change three which is going to count as the first double crochet and I'm going to go to the next two chain space and work three double crochet into the chain space to create a block and I'm going to continue working this way making three double crochet in each two chain space from the round until I reach that three chain from the beginning Now I'm working the last block of the round. So I'm working the last three double crochet of the round. And when I get to this point where I have the three chains from the beginning, I'm just going to work two double crochet to complete the block as the first three chains count as a double crochet. And I'm going to locate the third chain and I'm going to close with a slip stitch and I'm going to close this slip stitch with the contrasting color as I did before and now I'm going to skip that first three chains and I'm going to work one single crochet in between the blocks and I'm going to chain two and continue working this sequence so now you have to continue working these two rounds until you get the length that you want for your top repeating rounds number one and number two Number one would be the round that I'm working now, which is the single crochet and the two chains. And number two would be the round of block stitches. And you're going to continue working, repeating these two rounds until you get the length that you want for your top. In my case, my top measures 45 centimeters, but you can make it longer or shorter. And here is the top finished. As you can see, this is the side of the joints and they're almost invisible, which is great. And there's no semen. And this is the other side. And yes, and this is the top completed. Now, the only thing you have left to do is to sew the beginning of the top. So I'm just gonna grab a uh, tapestry needle and weave in sorry so in that first change of single crochets just to make sure my top looks perfect now you've finished you completed your top and you have something lovely to wear for the summer i hope you enjoy making this top with me and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye